Welcome once again to another episode of Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard. And the first thing I'd like to do is to correct something that I said last week. I got my uh, applications confused on the iPad. I bought so many. I said that it was $1.99, two bucks. It's actually only 99 cents. It is 99 cents. That's what I paid for it. And it's still 99 cents. Unless something changes by the time this, before this video gets released, you can get it for 99 cents. So be, do feel free to go ahead and check that out. It's only a buck. Another program I'm going to talk to you about one today is Wolfram Alpha. Now it's two bucks, and anyway, you see some information about it. It's a way to get some information, to easily kind of compare information. It can do some mathematical type of calculations for you as well. Um, I'm not really a math person, so all the features that are in there I don't fully understand, but read through the reviews. You can check it out. I'll show you a little bit about it here. Tap it right there. There it is, Wolfram Alpha. So it does calculations. Here's some things that I've done. You can just type in, so it's kind of like a Google search in a way, but it gathers information off of the web and other sources that it's got. Uh, global warming, I typed in, and it said, oh, assuming global warming is referring to global climate studies, it said, here's some information. So it shows me how the temperatures have changed over time. Here's 1925, 1950, 1975. Uh, 2000. So you can see how the average global temperature has been going up. And you want to see how much? Well, right there's the degree. So it's going slowly up to from 56.5 to about 58 degrees. So it's about one and a half degrees. Doesn't seem like a lot, but I think that makes a difference in the whole world and melting the glaciers and stuff. And there's more stuff down here. It gives you lots of info. Uh, if you type in something like AIDS population in Africa, how bad is the, you know, AIDS uh, crisis in that continent? And so you go through here, and it gives you a nice little map. It gives you some other stuff here, distributed plots, uh, da -da -da -da, lots of information. Real quick to be able to get that. And I just had to type in that one bit of information. It's not a bunch of websites. It gathers the information and pulls it together for you. So you don't have to go to the websites to be able to find where on the website it is amidst a bunch of ads. So it is a buck ninety nine, but I'm not getting any ads with anything that I get here. Uh, sometimes it's not. 100% helpful. Here's an example where I typed in Great Depression, West Virginia. I was wanting to get information like what were the unemployment rates, what was the poverty level, that sort of thing. And then in here it just said, assuming West Virginia is a U.S. state, it just sort of totally ignored the Great Depression. And so I got information on West Virginia, so it told me information about it, um, population history, etc. cetera. Uh, then I tried just Great Depression. And it said, assuming Great Depression is a historical period, it gave me information about the time of the Great Depression, but it didn't give me a whole lot of other information on that. Although it does give me a button here that I can tap called Search the Web, and that would give me more information if this, in fact, didn't quite work for me. Um, then the Great Recession, which is what we just finished up on, the Great Recession, economic in the U.S., and assumingly it thought that I meant Great Poverty. <laughs> and so it brought up the countries that were the most in, impoverished. So it wasn't quite what I was looking for, so it wasn't helpful. Now here's an interesting thing. Uh, when I typed in Athens, Ohio, and then Harrisonburg, Virginia, to compare the two cities, you know, what are they like? Cost of living, crime, you know, what kind of information could I get? It was real great because it did pop up the population, how much of the population, how much of it's urban, how much of it is metro. It shows me on the map where the two places are and how many miles there are between them. Uh, 184 miles for a 20 minute flight. I wonder if that's by crow or by propeller plane or, oh, never mind. Just being silly. So you get another little map there showing a little more detail. And then here it just shows me uh, the current time when I did that search. Uh, however, if I, instead of typing in Athens, Ohio, Harrisonburg, comma, Virginia, V I R G I N I A, and if I just abbreviated it VA, for some reason, I get a different result. So there's a little bit of a flaky issue there because here I do get the city population, urban metro, the map. I get the information with the distance of miles, this other little map, the time. But I also get current weather. This is our current temperature in Athens, current temperature in Harrisonburg, Virginia. What's the relative humidity, wind speed, uh, economic properties? What is the cost of living index? Uh, so Athens, Ohio is blank. I guess that information wasn't available, but it did give me the information for Harrisonburg, as well as the total uh, sales tax rate is higher in Ohio than it is in Virginia. Uh, rate of violent crime or property crime. So I got a lot more information when I did it that way.
It's a neat little program that you can use just to gather information. Again, the iPad is a consumption device, and little programs like this can help you to be able to find the information that you want to find. And I think this probably has more scientific applications than uh, what I've been showing you right here. But if you go to their website, they show you some nice little examples of, uh, <clears throat> they show you some examples of some of the things that they have been able to do. Uh, some searches that you can do like unemployment rate, New York City, Chicago. So you get a little bit of information on that. Okay, lots of little apps out there. Some of them are worth a buck or two in order to get you more information at your fingertips, literally on the iPad and iPod Touch. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have questions for me, feel free to send them to me at Ask the Techies. <clears throat> I'm sorry, at questions at askthetechies.com.